We're here at Goodman Precision Engineering and you're about to get the lowdown on Quasar machines. They've just invested in two new machines, but Chloe here is our Quasar machine expert. So what is it that's so good about these machines, Chloe? I think Quasar is a great machine tool builder in an aspect of it's so rigid, it's so sturdy, and you can get those big cuts that customers like Goodman Precision really want. Well, it's known Quasar quality and service is their tagline, but I also know that um, Mark, who runs the company, used to work on Bridgeport machines, and so he says that they're very solid. There's a lot of similarities from Bridgeport yeah. to Quasar machines. Yeah, 100%. So they're built a lot alike, and obviously Bridgeport are well-renowned for being strong industrial machines. Quasar have got that exact tagline as well. Obviously, they sell a lot in the UK, a lot around Europe, so they must be doing something right to be able to get these sales. Right, so this is the MV184. It's a three-axis machining centre, but it has got the fourth axes on it yeah so actually as you can see it's actually a fifth axis so you've got the three axis vmc with the fourth and fifth fifth rotary table right. and quasar are really good especially with etg it can be prepped and installed within half a day so if you're wanting to buy a vmc but you haven't not got enough money but don't really want to utilize it all as a five axis like they've got behind us then really you could go and you could go to etg and say look i want to interface and it's done really quick and simple and they're all hide and hind controls, aren't they? So what's so good about this? Hide and hind control is such a user-friendly programming system. I not grew up on hide and hind, but I preferred hide and hind to all the rest. Obviously, there are others available, but I just think it's so user-friendly. The cycles and everything, and obviously they're using it in all the machine shops. So all the lads are able to capable to program on them. So they have good storage, good cuts, and it works well with the Quasar machine. Right, let's move on then to the full five axis machine. So we've got the MF400. Now this is a full five axis simultaneous machine. So, and what I like about the machines as well is when you look into the machines, there's a lot of windows, there's a lot of access, all prepped as well, ready for automation. Yeah, definitely. So as you can see, we've gone into the side window. So if you're full view, on your front of your machine is blocked you can always see from the back and especially with a fifth axis machine you want to be able if you're doing cuts from the back of the par you want to make sure that your tool is ready it's not going to collide with any vices or any setups or anything like that so basically it's being prone to accidents and that's a really good safety feature and um, the build of these machines how are they made Okay, so they're made um, not in the UK, but they're made abroad. They're also made by really good structural engineers. And obviously, they're built correctly. And they're a lot, we were talking about Bridgeport earlier. They're a lot like Bridgeport. They're not the same, but they're, a, a, they're a like Bridgeport. But you can see in the structure of the Bridgeports, they're really strong machines. And these do exactly the same. So we're talking about one solid casting. Are we yeah. talking about box or linear guideways? So with the Quasar, you can have either box or linear guideway. So it's completely up to you. ETG do both the range. Right, and let's move on yeah. to the MV214. Now, this is a two meter machine. One thing that they like here is the fact that the ATC, there's a lot of options for tools. Yeah, definitely. So not just this machine backwards, the first machine that we saw, the MV184, that's got a 48 instead of the normal 30. This one behind us has got a 60 ATC. So it's okay having these um having extra tools but the the process is why do you have this if you've got a machine if you've got a sorry a process and a machine that's able to hold 60 tools and your program is using 58 tools that's absolutely fantastic that means you doesn't have to stop halfway through the cycle put different tools in you've got them secure in your machine ready to go Right, and um, the tool probing and everything, is that all, it's all blum, isn't it? Yes, definitely. So I think as well, on the fifth axis, everything is blum integrated. So you've also got, you've got the uh, touch probe here, which does your tool length, tool radius, any tool breakages. So like I was saying, if you've got a 15 hour cycle and you're using, I don't know, one mil ball noses that not are prone to break, but are more, a lot more delicate than a 10 mil M mil, we can always check after an hour to see whether the tool's still there, to see whether the radius is still there. And also they've got uh, Blum probing to probe your threads, to probe your pockets, to probe your, even your work pieces before you start machining. Now because of the size of this table, I know they put on multiple parts as well, 
but I want to know what's interesting about the spindle because there's a few options. Yeah, definitely. So this was just a normal spindle, but Quasar also do a maxia spindle. Also, you can have it in an RPM of 12,000 or 15,000, and that's obviously up to the customer. There's obviously a range that you can choose, but it's great to have those options because just having a standard box machine is so like all the other machine tools, but Quasar offer that option for, for customers. Any other features that you personally know and like and think will benefit people watching this video if they're looking into invest in a vertical, a five axis? Yeah, definitely. So the one, it may sound a bit silly, but swarf evacuation is one of my biggest pet hates. And having the augers, having the wash down, and it comes on simultaneously, so every 30 seconds it manages to wash itself down. Mm -hmm. You've got a wash gun inside, you've got an air blow as well, and we're working with the side doors, having all these glass panels, able to be able to look in. Because some machines, you've only got a little small space, and imagine hearing a bang, not knowing where it's come from, and this saves the error, so you know exactly where you are, where your tool is as well. Nothing silly about that, you know your stuff. Anything else before we finish? I just think Quasar and ETG as a brand selling it is absolutely fantastic. I think they're a great, well-built machine and perfect for any industry. Thanks, Chloe.